What's up guys, Jake here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to use multiple pressure washers with your snow making system. So the main reason we would use multiple pressure washers with this setup is to increase the amount of snow that output at the lowest cost. Let's go through a quick refresher of a simple setup. In this diagram, we can see that the water spigot on our home or our water source that we're using is gonna feed water through the garden hose and into the pressure washer. The pressure washer will then pressurize that water and and send it through the pressure washer hose and into the snow gun head. Below this, we have the air compressor that is gonna send compressed air through the air hose and into the snow gun head as well. So the main piece of equipment we wanna look at for how much snow we can output is the pressure washer and more specifically, the pressure washer GPM rating. The higher the pressure washer GPM rating, the more snow is output through the snow gun head. So let's talk quickly about how we can increase the pressure washer GPM rating. Before we look at these, different options, it's important to note that most residential pressure washers are gonna be between one to two GPM. And the main reason for that is that pressure washers between one to two GPM are going to work really well with standard US power outlets. When you buy a small pressure washer at the store, it's gonna most likely be between one to two GPM if it's electric. If it's gas, it can be different. Let's look at the ways that we can increase the pressure washer GPM past two GPM. The first and most obvious thing to do is to get a high flow pressure washer. So something that's rated over two GPM. And there's two versions of this high flow pressure washer that you can get and it's determined by the way it's powered. Let's look first at the electric powered high flow pressure washer that's rated over two GPM. If the single pressure washer is rated over two GPM and if it's electric powered, it's gonna be 220 volt power or higher. It's gonna require more power than a standard US outlet because it has a larger pump and because it is driven by a larger motor. And because of all that, it's typically going to be a higher quality pump. It's going to be more industrial grade and more commercial grade. These pumps are going to be over a thousand dollars for sure. Something in the two to four GPM range is going to be around one to two thousand dollars. If you get over four GPM in a single pump, a self-built pump and motor combination, it's more rare to find these that are pre-made and ready to ship off of the shelf. It's more of a specialty thing that you're going to have to size and fit the motor and the pump together. And those will cost upwards of five, six, seven thousand dollars for those. The other way to do it is to get a gas powered pressure washer that's over two GPM. These are going to be definitely cheaper than the electric powered because they're powered by gas. You can get a higher GPM. It is going to have that larger pump and a larger motor that's going to be powered by gas. The biggest downside to this is the need to refill the gas tank. It's going to require more monitoring while you're making snow. It's also going to be a lot louder. So for snow making, it's overall not as good of an option unless you live in a really cold place and you're making snow during the day, then it may be a cheaper way to get that higher GPM. If you're trying to make snow at night, it obviously has its downsides there. Let's look at a train setup. And a train setup is a snow making setup that uses multiple pressure washers in the system. So let's just walk really quickly through what the system looks like. The water source or the water spigot is going to supply water through the garden hose to a garden hose splitter. In the garden hose splitter, you can split the water through small leader hoses to multiple pressure washers. In this picture, we have two pressure washers shown. Both of those pressure washers are going to pressurize the water and send that pressurized water through pressure washer hoses and then into a combination fitting. We call it the high pressure manifold fitting. And that fitting is designed to safely combine these high pressure water streams into a singular high pressure stream without any backflow. It will protect your equipment from back flowing, potentially damaging it. Once the two streams are combined, it's going to go through a pressure gauge. And the pressure gauge is a great tool for multi-train setups in order to monitor the overall combined pressure in that stream. And then the water is going to go through that hose and then into the snow gun head, just like the other setup. Air compressor will function the exact same in a train setup with multiple pressure washers as it would with a normal setup with a singular pressure washer. Let's look at the pros of using multiple pressure washers or running a train setup. The first is gonna be the overall cost for achieving that higher snow output or higher GPM rating. Overall, using this equipment to combine water streams and the lower cost of more residential pressure washers is gonna allow you to achieve that higher flow rate at a lower overall cost. The next thing is gonna be the usability of standard 110 volt or 120 volt power outlets in your home. Most of those smaller residential pressure washers run off standard outlets. You're gonna be able to 
use these outlets that are located all around your home to power your pressure washer. You will have to plug in the pressure washers onto different breaker systems in your home to make sure you don't overload the breaker. But if you run these pressure washers into different outlets around the garage or on the outside of your home or in different rooms in your home, then it's gonna work great. The last thing is using multiple pressure washers allows your system to be expandable. Instead of investing in a $2,000 industrial pressure washer to achieve 3 GPM or 4 GPM, you can start with one pressure washer and you can add it incrementally at a lower cost. So you can start with a lower cost system. As you go, you can expand and add more pressure washers to increase the overall output of your system. Let's look at the cons of a multi-train system. So the biggest cons are gonna be the equipment required. There's gonna be more hoses. There's gonna be more fittings that are needed in order to connect the pressure washers together in order to split the water from the source. That's one of the cons with the system. And the next is gonna be the longer setup time, especially the first few times that you set up a train system. It's gonna take a little bit more time in order to set those hoses up to get the water flowing and just make sure that you are well aware of how the system is set up. Over time, it becomes easier, but the first few times is definitely a little bit longer setup than a single pressure washer system. For a majority of homeowners, the pros are gonna outweigh the cons for using multiple pressure washers. From some of the things we just talked about, there's gonna be a lot of benefits if you have a standard home, water supply, outlets, and you wanna run this system, but you wanna make more snow, the train setup is gonna be the best option that's gonna be the lowest cost for you to do that. The exception to that would be for the extreme or small commercial snowmaking system. If you have an upgraded home or if you have a larger scope of project that you wanna do with the snowmaking setup, for commercial setups, we'd recommend getting a large, expensive industrial pump. If you're looking to make snow continuously or if you have a larger amount of snow that you need to make and you have the power and a budget to allow that, then that may be a better option that you can get your system set up and start making a lot of snow quick. You can find more info at backyardsnowstorm.com slash learn. We'll go into more detail about our snow gun design, snow making science, recommended equipment, and frequently asked questions. Thanks for watching and have a great day.